Hi, I'm Five Fighter Ray. We have a great show today. I've got Ava Leibowitz. You related to Ford Leibowitz, who, from Animal House, who, you've heard that before. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, Ava is a Rochester firefighter, and we have Rob Paparo. Everyone calls you Pip. Yes, sir. And uh, he's a lieutenant in New Brunswick Fire Department, and these guys are fitness gurus. They run 555 Fitness. We're going to get into that later on in the show. We're actually going to do a little workout. And we'll talk all about 555 Fitness a little bit later. Um, I just love the fact that I'm cooking with Ava and Pip. Oh, sound like I'm British. Hello, Ava. Oh, it's Pip. Congratulations. And nobody's laughing at all. That's OK. But um, uh, what are we making today, guys? We are going to make healthy stuffed peppers. Mm -hmm. And in the time that they're going to be in the oven, we're going to take you guys downstairs uh, into the apparatus bay floor and do a quick workout so we can earn this meal today. So I'm going to be working out? Yeah? Yes. All right. So I'm going to work out on the apparatus floor. I'll show you guys the, uh, the gun, show? gun show. Are those legal in New York? Uh, no. Actually, I, I, I tried to get them registered, but they sent me home. All right. Anyway. So we're making stuffed peppers. Now, this is a very healthy meal. I know you guys are all about health and fitness in, uh, in, in 555 Fitness. So, Eva, what do we do first? Uh, so honestly, the, the first step is just preparing all your ingredients and having them on hand. You can make this meal whatever you want it, tailor it to anyone in your firehouse, because um, some people don't like to eat corn, some people don't like to eat cilantro, other people don't like to eat rice. So we're gonna kind of show you some things that you can modify to make it good for everyone. Um, and then some tips and tricks in order to make this a little bit less fat and a little bit less calorie uh, and make it a little bit more conscious uh, for our meals and how much you guys are gonna um, actually eat tonight. Okay. So, um, we already have all of our ingredients. Like I said, pick whatever you want. Um, what we did today, um, we grabbed some olives, black beans, salsa, uh, some taco seasoning. We did 99% fat-free uh, ground turkey. Uh, you can also do ground beef, but again, we're gonna try to go for with a little bit of a healthier option. Um, some peppers, some, uh, some onions, whatever other vegetables you want. We have corn, some cheese, um, and then also some homemade sauce. And again, you can buy store-bought sauce as Where well. Where is the bacon and butter and... Uh, that might be for dessert. That's for dessert, okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Every fire, like 90% of our meals has a stick of butter or, or bacon in it. We managed uh, to keep the butter But I like this, okay. I'm gonna keep healthy. I'm gonna work out, and I'm gonna feel good about being me, about being fine, fine, right? Okay, what, what, let's start, go so, for it. Um, so first thing, we're gonna add some olive oil to the pan. Yeah, we'll give it to Pip. Bloody Keep well, Pip. Up. And we're going to put the onion uh, right inside. Very nice. Now, Pip, haircut. Love it. Do you get get pulled apart in the firehouse? Because I know if you're in my firehouse in Jamaica, that would be that would be the talk of the whole. Uh, but you know, it's like aerodynamic, right? You know, so it's, uh, it's definitely the talk of the whole firehouse. It's been, but I've had it for so long that the guys have just grown to like it and get used to it because they know it's not going anywhere, no matter what they're going to no say. No matter what they it's say. Stay. Hey, that's confident. It's I like that. I like that. All right, so, so onions are sautéed. Yep, they're sautéed. Um, we have our ground beef here, or I'm sorry, our ground turkey. Okay. We'll open up this. Uh, depending on how many peppers you are doing, um, I would say probably a pound per four or five peppers, I would say, is pretty appropriate. Again, you're going to stuff this with a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Okay. So, um, you know, I, more food is always better than less food, especially okay. at the firehouse. Yeah, more food's always a little bit better. Portion control, that's actually gonna be one of my safety tips later on in the season. I don't like portion control. I like big portions, yeah. as you can tell. Okay. So while that, all of that is, uh, all that is browning in the pan, uh, we're going to open up all of our cans, um, the okay. salsas, the, the, green, um, the green olives that we all have. Right. And uh, a couple things in regards to our peppers. If you wanna preheat the oven, 
uh, and throw these in there to make them a little bit softer. You can do that or just preheat the oven right around 350 just to get it nice and hot. So once we stuff these, we can throw them in there. Uh, we cut the tops off and we also cut the bottoms off just a little teeny tiny bit so they sit flat instead of falling over. I should really test these olives and make sure they're good. They're good. Oh, those are good. Again, and you can tailor this recipe to whatever you guys like in your firehouse. So once you've cut, uh, once you've cut all your peppers, um, we're going to use the cilantro for our rice that we're going to make. Um, once all of these are uh, are in the oven, we bought brown rice, which is higher in fiber than just regular white rice. So again, digestive health. Um, we use the brown rice instead, uh, and we're going to throw that pretty much in the microwave. Or if you want to buy regular jasmine rice and you want to take the 20 minutes to cook that, mm -hmm. you're more than welcome to do so. All right, so uh, you're a firefighter in Rochester. I am. And that's and you're also a paramedic. I'm also a paramedic. Is that all firemen in, in, in uh, Rochester? Uh, no, no. Our fire department is uh, one of, actually, I believe, the only fire in Munner County that mm -hmm. is uh, full ALS services and also fire protection services. Wow. So. I must say, I know a lot of women firefighters. I never saw one as beautiful as this. I like all the other. The other one's pretty. <laughs> But Ava, unbelievable, and you're in shape. Oh my goodness gracious! Um, when uh, what, what made you become a firefighter? Are you the only firefighter in your house? Are you the? I'm the. I was uh, the first career firefighter in uh, in my fire department, and I'm one of a handful in the county and in the city of Rochester. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I think the New York City Fire Department. We only have uh, out of like eleven thousand, there might be thirty or forty women. You know, it is. It's a. Uh, you know, it's a tough thing, and you, you got to be in shape. Uh, you got to know your stuff, and uh, it's, it's a tough thing for a woman to come into, a, into a, basically an all-male job. It's pretty brave there, Ava. I'm, uh, I, like I, have, I have great guys that I work with, so they, oh, made, it, they right. made an easy, easy thing for me to be welcome. Awesome. And awesome. in the workout world, we call her a beast. The She'll beast. throw down with anybody and oh, really? probably beat them, including me, occasionally. That's probably the only. That's that's probably a good time. That's the only time a woman likes to be called a beast. Is, you know, she's she a beast. Abe's like, that's right. I am. All right. Uh, so while again, while that's cooking, um, we've opened up all of our all of our extra accoutrements that we uh, that we might throw in there. Um, also, I have a bag of frozen corn. You can Ooh. use regular corn if you don't want to do corn. You don't even have to do it. So we're gonna grab the taco seasoning mix. Very nice. And we're going to throw that in with the ground beef and the onion that we already have going. Okay, so we put that right in. Little, little, the whole thing? Uh, usually about half. half. Okay. Usually about half, especially yeah. depending on, on how many pounds of ground beef uh, or ground turkey that you brought in. And now let's grab a nice big pan or a big uh, bowl. So we can start throwing all the extra, uh, all the extra stuff into. So everything is going into the makeup. Nice big melting pot, yes. big mix yep. pot. So again. So these are going in. Yep. We're gonna throw right. some cilantro in for flavor. Some um, olives. If you're, gonna, these olives. if you're gonna throw the olives in, I'm gonna recommend that you drain them. We're also gonna cut them up a little bit. You don't want them whole. Okay. Oh, so why don't we do that? All right. I'll drain these bad boys uh, right here. We have one pound of ground turkey in there, so we're just gonna do a half a cup of salsa. You don't want it. Uh, you don't want to put too much in there just because of the water. Okay. okay. So about half a cup. Half a can. Uh, black beans are great, uh, great for fiber. Um, they're also uh, high carb content, so those are pretty good. Um, we do, we also do one can of black beans. So this is like a Spanish stuffed pepper. You Got some taco seasoning, some black beans. Yeah, Forget can. about my British accent. I'll do my Spanish accent. I don't know if I can say pip. Multi, multi talented. Multi talented. I can do lots of accents. How do you do a pip in Spanish? What's up, Pip? Hey, hey, little homes. Again, and we already thawed. We already thawed the corn, so we can just throw it right in here. Okay, about right. a half a bag. Very nice. The recipe, as you see it here, and as you'll see it um, on the website, will be about 450 calories or so per pepper. Uh, we're also going to give you some tips and tricks in order to reduce that calorie content. So, for the cheese, instead of buying regular regular cheese like you would the regular taco uh, seasoning cheese, we bought low fat, or you can also do fat-free cheddar. That's a great that's a great alternative. Uh, and again, if you don't want to do beans, if you don't want to do corn, that's going to be less calories from carbs. Very nice. Okay, so if you want to do a low carb option, you can always just do meat on meat. 
I now, have to put a little bacon in there too. In the firehouse, olives is a very, very delicate subject. There are olive eaters and they're not olive eaters. So I, when I first came onto the fire department, was not an olive eater. I looked at olives like they were like the most disgusting thing. And and from cooking in the fire department and just cutting black olives every time, because these guys love putting olives in, in their in their food, I started tasting. Now I'm like addicted to olives, okay? So I came in, you ever hear that expression? You're either an olive liker or not an olive liker. I changed it, I'm now an, an olive lover. All right, anyway, so your olives are in. Olives are in. Okay. Throw everything into this pan. Uh, another option for you guys, if you don't want to make the uh, lime, cilantro, and brown rice on the side, you're more than welcome to actually throw all of this stuff into these stuffed peppers as well. And that way you just have one entire meal in one pepper. Okay, so we still have to take all this stuff, the peppers. I have a lot more olives to cut, all right? Because I keep eating and cutting and eating and cutting. Why don't we go to a fire fact right now? And when we come back, we'll stuff the peppers and we'll get them in the oven. We'll be right back. Firefighter Ray, and today's fire fact is a towel ladder. I am here in beautiful Bayport, Long Island, with Chief, ex Chief, Paul Baycheck, and now firefighter. He's going to demonstrate for us how we can extract a firefighter from a window. Oh, look at that. I got my father in law, Anthony, posing as our firefighter. All right, Chief Baycheck, extract Sensei Anthony. With that, he's bringing the towel ladder right beneath the window. One of the main things, especially if you're a civilian, do not jump. The firefighter will tell you when to come. More injuries happen when the civilians get panicked and they jump to that towel ladder. He brings that ladder right below the window. And now he's close enough to climb into the towel ladder and go to safety. I'm Firefighter Ray. And that's today's fire fact. That was a pretty interesting fire fact. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. It was very good, very informative. These fire facts we do on Firehouse Kitchen. All right, let's stuff some back. We are almost done. So now that the, the turkey is all set, we're going to take the turkey from the pan, throw it right into this bowl. I'll let you do that, Pip. And just to make things easy for us, we're going to actually throw the rice right in as well. That was a and great a little bit job, of cheese. Pip. I tried, right? Just Again, for you. Again, we're going to go low fat or fat free cheese. All right. All right. The rice is going to go in as well. Again, whether brown rice, jasmine rice, whatever kind of rice you want. If you want to go riceless, that's totally okay as well. Mix all of this together. We're going to line that pan with just a little bit of sauce. Right, so we have the sauce. In jar. And this is AJ Fusco from. Fucking hose. Everyone's wife's homemade sauce. Everyone's got a sauce guy. Everyone's so, got a sauce guy. So oh. we're using we're using that sauce. This is beautiful. He's our source for sauce. He's our sauce master. Fork and hose. Honey, okay. make some sauce for the show. That's not how it goes. I know that's not how it works. All right, here we go. So you've cut the top and the bottom off your peppers to make sure that the bottom is flat. We're gonna stuff our peppers. Very nice. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, let's not lose my cap. Here we are. I don't want to get it on my nice 555 shirt. That's white. That makes me look really good. You can get a black shirt because black makes you look better. You guys can do that. When I work out, I'm going to wear a black shirt. All right. So here we go. All right. We're going to throw these in the oven for 30 minutes. And while we do that, we will go downstairs and work out for our fire safety tip. I'm Firefighter Ray, and today's safety tip has to do with health and fitness. I got Pip and Ava here. They're gonna help me out, do a little workout while our stuff's cooking upstairs. Um, how are you guys enjoying Firehouse Kitchen so far? Loving it, absolutely yeah. loving it. Awesome, that's what I love to hear. Excellent job. You paid All me right. to say it, so. <laughs> now, these guys are a part of an organization called 555 Fitness. Pip, tell us about 555 Fitness. So 555 Fitness is a firefighter founded and owned charity. And what we're basically, our main goal is, is to reduce line of duty deaths based off of cardiac related events. As firefighters, we know that that's the leading cause of death year after year for firefighters across America. 
Some of the ways that we plan on doing that is through functional fitness and healthy firefighter meals. Healthy firefighter meals. I'm not a huge fan of them, but you we're, make, we're making a delicious healthy one right now. I like my butter and I like, as you can see. Um, <laughs> Ava, how did you guys get hooked up? We were each individually doing our own thing to help reduce line of duty deaths uh, through functional fitness. And with the help of 555, we all came together and, um, and created this one common mission. Uh, so today, uh, while our stuff peppers are cooking upstairs, we're going to do a quick uh, functional workout that's going to take no more than 30 minutes to set up, do, rest, and then go back out to the knee. Even a, uh, a wonderfully injured fireman in shape. I got prosthetic hips, but I, look, I still look pretty good. good. Except for this. <laughs> We can fix this. Gonna now, I'm going to make a deal with you guys. I'm going to follow this 555 Fitness, this 555 Fitness workout. And uh, I told everybody and my wife, I made a bet with her, I'm going to try to come back next season 30 pounds lighter. Let's go. Okay. I'm in. All right, right. yeah. I'm going to do it. Right. Follow 555. Right. I heard I don't follow your diet. You can eat whatever you want. You don't want to follow my diet. No. But we'll take care of you. We'll what take you care of you. You eat like bean sprouts and, and, and chicken all the time? Is that all you eat? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's it. it. That's bean sprouts that's and it. chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let's get to working out. Let's go, guys. Let's go. We're gonna go over to squats, Yikes. squats to pails, pails to the uh, sled pull and drag. Go. Should be your last station. Stuff. That was you good like stuff. It? I, I feel good. Everything, and that, I mean, it's all firefighter stuff. I, I love it. I thought it was awesome. Five, five, five fitness. We got Pip and Ava. I'm firefighter Ray. And remember, these tips save lives. Well, well, well. I am actually going to quote a movie that you probably never seen, The Beastmaster Two. Is this to eat or to gaze upon? This is a, such a pretty dish. Did you see Beastmaster 2? I did. You did? I did. Be you have no idea what we're talking about. You're still in your 20s. She's in her 20s. Oh, my goodness gracious. No good movies ever. I know. But yeah, what's, what's your favorite movie? It looks super bad. It's like awesome. It's like really, really good. You know? We had like classic action movies. The original Beastmaster, awesome. 
Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon. Wayne. Commando. Commando. Oh, Commando. Now, you guys are like fitness gurus. You, you, you know uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Pumping mm -hmm. Iron. He made like the sickest movie. I'm, I'm a huge Arnold Schwarzenegger fan. Anyway, we can talk about movies all day. 555 five, five Fitness. This is a very healthy dish, okay? It is. Probably the only thing that's unhealthy is probably the cheese, right? But it's it's low fat. We use low fat, yeah. yeah so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit everything in moderation. You know? All right, so I'm just digging it out. Eat uh, right. as you wish. Can I put a little lime on it? Absolutely. All right, yep. just put a little lime uh, on just it. want to recommend eating the cilantro okay. by itself. It's, there's, there's plenty cilantro. in. There's plenty in. Yeah, uh, that's in a little bitter, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's try this bad boy out. Oh, oh, oh. It's probably very hot, Boy, nuclear, oh. nuclear hot, um, as it comes out. So give it a couple, couple minutes to cool down. Oh my goodness! You gotta be freaking kidding me! This is delicious. This is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You got the corns, the black bean, and that little hint of spice at the end is just where it's at. Yep. Well, I could eat this like an apple if I wanted to, right? I could just pick it up. And... Like the Beastmaster would. Like, like, like the Beastmaster oh, yeah, would do. I am Dar of the Emo Knights. <laughs> there are no more Emo Knights. I am the last. Okay. All stick. right, I did it. I'm gonna stick with my fork, Dark. Yeah. This is unbelievable. So hopefully you can tailor it to anyone in your firehouse, whatever they like. Uh, put that in, whatever they don't like. Put that in if you don't like them. So. I had a great time this episode. Okay, this this episode was pretty cool. We had like fitness workout. There was like a 10 minute scene on you guys just beating me up and throwing the hose around. Um, Lots of fun. Thank you guys so much for coming. Now, before you guys leave, just tell America one more time, how do they find out about 555 Fitness, about your workouts, how they can get them? No problem. Them. So you can check us out at www.555fitness.com. You can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Pinterest, which you have to learn a little bit about. I know. At the handle at 555 Fitness. Every day we provide free workouts, not just for firefighters, but for anybody out there. You can also check us out at, at Forked and Hose Company. We do some collaborations with them with some healthier meals like this one, and they share some of our workouts. We're gonna do a show with them. We with are. AJ. Yeah, we're we are gonna, gonna do a show, with, do a show AJ. with AJ. So that's gonna be fun. Good stuff. Ava, thank you so much for coming. I love having Rochester in the house, because, you know, it's right, I was doing it before off camera. I'm in Rochester, man, with downtown Rochester, yeah. right? Yeah, that's it. In New York. <laughs> All right. Upstate. Upstate. <laughs> well, I know Rochester College. Somewhere up there. My nephew yeah. went to Roche Rochester Film School. That's how I kind of got started in the whole film and, and industries with my nephew who went to Rochester. And that, that was like the film capital of the world. Uh, with Kodak? Yeah, yeah, with Kodak. Yeah, Kodak's up there. Zero, That's yeah. right. Holy cow. Yeah. I forgot about that. They were famous. It all comes full circle. Famous for Kodak and garbage plates. Very nice. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. All right. So, uh... One last thing about 555 Fitness that I would love for all the viewers to know. We also have a grant program that provides free fitness equipment to fire departments that are in need. Um, we do so solely through the funding uh, provided by t-shirts. So the sale of our t-shirts and our apparel and anything you find in the store goes right to the grant program. We're giving out three this year in 2015. So please, uh, if you don't mind, check us out on uh, 555fitness.com. Check out our apparel store and, uh, and help us help other fire departments. If you want to come on Firehouse Kitchen or become a sponsor or find out some recipes, go to firehousekitchenshow.com. All the contact information is there. Uh, all the proceeds from Firehouse Kitchen go to the Isotown Fire Museum and to our local burn centers. Guys. Awesome time. Pip. Awesome yeah. Time. It was a new my bloody British <laughs> accent again with my bloody pit, and it's terrible. And everyone at home's going, oh my gosh, please stop. Just okay. stop. Oh my goodness. And I'll see you guys next time on Firehouse, Firehouse Kitchen. Kitchen. Yeah. All right. Let's enjoy some stuffed peppers. I'm going to keep eating mine like an apple. That's the way I like to eat. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, unbelievable.